was horrible. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell me what those guys did to you? Gus did? He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the, the hunter. Uh, yeah, there was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. The dude was massive and angry. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, oh shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. It's okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What, what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? And I know how to use it! Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. It, it was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run! Very brave. All right. So, uh... Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running, like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like, I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? Hunters, I told you it was hunters. The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop, so I'm hanging there, 
half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. Oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 um... One of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team, he got lost on the way to practice, and it was yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. No, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what, sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs>
prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. This island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and you know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? <sighs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all. 
but we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. about it. How could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Quoth the raven nevermore. I guess I gotta do this one-handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, just thought you should know, I am nailing this ladder climbing. is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 1805 by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. there's something up there and it is not gonna make me jump I can promise you that much <sighs> good 
goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Damn. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We got a call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? 
The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Uh, cops? Yeah, don't fuck around. There's hunters out there trying to kidnap us. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friends may have been attacked by bears, but maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And then one of them was kidnapped by these hunter guys with blood on their faces, and there may have been shots fired, but not by us, but also maybe by us. And they cut my friend Jacob down from a tree. Separate incident. Long story. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though. It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, it's it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. So for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. Oh my god. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. No. Fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. Fuck.
Are you finished berating me? I could go on, but please take your turn. <sighs> Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis, and that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, <sighs> a time again, is it? Strength. <laughs> Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Choose one. Choose wisely.
So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you.